Howdy folks, Tim here from uh, High and Cheap Tech, and tonight we're once again talking the Mi A3. Um, it did get the Android up to today, I'll give you all the details right after the intro. Let's get to that right now. Hi folks, I'm back. So, I decided to poke around tonight. And I found, I typed in Mi A3 and Xiaomi Mi A3 official. You know, you've been able to get the ROM for a long time, but that doesn't guarantee you getting the official update. Uh, and the newest one I found was only 17 hours old. Uh, they got it. The whole damn video is in Hindi, of course, just like the one I discovered the Mi A2 was out on. But basically, uh, I looked at a couple other videos, and it was the scheduling was the Mi A2 gets it first, the Mi A3 gets it second, which is only right. The Mi A2 is older. And should get it. They both end up with the December 5th uh, security patch. Not a big deal because usually Xiaomi runs about two weeks behind on those. So December 5th, about December 20th or so, we should see a security patch update, maybe sooner. But if you have one of these phones, the Mi A3, or are considering one, you will definitely get the uh, update, and it'll be cool. Uh, if you've already bought one, or taken my advice, there will be a link below in the description for Amazon on where to buy one. It's a fairly inexpensive phone, and it kind of stacks up really well versus the Redmi Note 8. We'll get to that in a second. You will get it. So you can either, you know, press your power button for a little while, or and you'll get a thing that says restart, and yeah, hit that. And it should go out and check for updates when it boots back up. Should, could, might. If not, or if you've already got it booted up and you're in a hurry, uh, go into your settings at the very top, Type in the word system, and, you know, it'll come up and select it. Hit a space and type in the word updates. And at the very bottom of the list, you'll see, you know, Android, whatever version you're currently running, and click it. It should be 9 from the factory, depending on when it was boxed up. Some of these will already have 10 on them. Uh, click that. You know, if it says Android 9, and say, check for updates. You know, it'll say, oh, your system's up to date. It's like, no, horseshit. It will be there. Make sure you're on Wi-Fi. It's about a 1.3 gig update. And you're going to get the AMOLED beauty and a few other things. Hi, folks. Tim here just cutting in. Quick message about TubeBuddy.com. As you will see coming up on the screen right now, TubeBuddy is the premier tool for helping you edit and maintain your presence as a creator on YouTube. It integrates flawlessly. If you have a free version, uh, it goes right into your browser and you use it as you're you know, doing your editing and, uh, and uploading. And it, it's an excellent tool. Uh, as far as prices go, the price is coming up on the screen. Um, if you get the free version, a lot of times they'll offer you, uh, they'll make you an offer. They made me an offer, and I'm only paying $4.50 a month. So, check it out at the link that you're going to see on the screen, and at the link below, uh, www.tubebuddy.com forward slash high-end cheap tech. And now let's get back to that video we were doing. 
And here we are back again. I had to throw in the tube buddy ad until we get more subscribers. Yeah. But you could subscribe. It's pretty easy. You just hit the subscribe button and the notification bell. And if it's something you don't want to watch, you can just ignore it. Uh, but on the other hand, subscribers are very important. And the description below is very important. There will be links to the Mi A2, the Mi A3, and the Empow Selfie Stick, which we use as a tripod and turn on and off with the super cool little remote it comes with. Bluetooth, of course. Uh, some stuff I've noticed on the uh, Android uh, 10 versus... You know, Mi A3 versus the Redmi Note 8. Definitely, number one, the Redmi Note 8 has one advantage, rear fingerprint reader. He, you know, something like one of them things. You got a little, because you can leave it face down with a case on it. Always put a case on your damn phone. I don't care what people tell you about something being pretty. That's a bunch of horse shit. Because a back screen protector or a, a back a unlock button, doesn't matter how fast it is. By the time you pick it up off your desk, hit the button, and turn it over, it'll be going. On the Mi A3, you're stuck with the in-screen fingerprint reader. Not a fave of mine. I think it's a gimmick. And, of course, you have the, the teardrop notch. I can learn to live with that. I would love to have one. More subscribers would always help. Did I mention we could use some subscribers? Uh, yeah. Do that. And make sure to give us a like and share the video. Um, so I played around today a little with the uh, Mi A2's version of Android 10. Which is going to be a little different than what the Mi A3 gets, you know, analog versus blah, blah, blah. I don't get the always on display settings. The Mi A3 will because it's analog. But, uh, obviously, the battery on the Mi A2, it would probably be a pretty bad idea to have an always on. It's only a 3,000 milliamp battery, a milliamp hour. Um, so, all that being said, uh, the real reason I recommend the Mi A3 is, if you're an average consumer, when the hell are you ever going to use that macro lens? You're not. All the other cameras are the same. The SOC is the same. Hi. And huge advantage, Android One. Your Mi A3, when you buy one, is already at a lower price than uh, the Redmi Note 8 with 4 gig. And they both have expandable storage. Fantastic over the Mi A2 here. Uh, which doesn't. So we have to do a lot of balancing with the, you know, shooting videos like this one and talking for way too damn long. Uh, I would go still with the Mi A3. The photographs, the video, everything, EIS, blah, 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 blah. All be the same. Cameras, camera apps are identical. So I did some poking around today in uh, my version of Android 10. Of course, I don't get the, uh, you know, always on uh, display because I don't have AMOLED. I do have 1080p, though. Yay! It ain't that important, folks. But what I did find, and something... Xiaomi needs to be slapped upside the head for unacceptable. 
I found some bloatware in there. Me community. What the hell? Since when does Google put me community on a pure Google device? They don't. That was not part of the pure Google update. That's uh, Xiaomi slipping crap in that they shouldn't. They have a contract. They need to abide by it. Do you hear me, Xiaomi? Now, I won't bitch about this anymore if you send me a Mi A3. Thanks. Uh, so, all in all, the Mi A3 is still a better phone than a Redmi Note 8 only because you're going to get the quicker updates. It already has or will have if you bought one. Um, the Android 10, you might wait two months, three months. Son of a bitch. Well, that's okay. Mm. I hate them. Notifications that pop up and roar in my ears. Um, you will eventually get the update, but they're not obligated to put them out as quick. They're not obligated to put the security updates out as quick. You will get the updates. So if you like the video, give us a like. If you dislike the video, give us a down. It's okay. Both of those work for us. Yeah, yeah I know you think you're doing something horrible, but it's okay. Because all that does is raise us up when people do a search. <laughs> And leave some feedback. Positive, negative, I don't care. Leave a comment. I'll answer as many as I can. Uh, we don't get that many comments. And then subscribe. Hit the little bell. And if you don't like a video, you know, when you see it pop up, it's like, I don't care about that. Then ignore it. Just ignore it. You don't have to watch anything just because you got a notification. That's all we have for tonight, so I'll pop up, you know, a couple in the corners and, uh, yeah. That's all she wrote, folks. I will see you in the next one, maybe Friday. I'm hoping tomorrow to just not have the overwhelming urge to make another damn video. It's late. I just like to come home, watch some videos, catch up on all the other reviewers I watch, make sure they're following their standards. Otherwise, they wouldn't. If you go to my channel, it's not that hard to do. You could check and see who I like and dislike. Or, well, you don't see who I dislike, but you will see all kinds of stuff relating to, you know, reviewers I trust. And uh, that's all I got for the night. Let's go to the outro.